I have to apologize. I just like um, I lost the second point, but I, I think the main thing is is that um, ah, that's what it was. I wanted to bring it around to my first point about the the woman I saw in Dunkin' Donuts with her daughter, who had uh, slight mental issues. Um, these are things that are real. These are things that you know in life. Um, you have to ask yourself, you, you do, if you're a religious Jew you, or religious anything, you have to ask yourself, um, if there is a Hashem, what, what, why would he create deformed children and why is it okay? And you know what I mean? I'm not even talking about people laughing at them or not, because this is human nature. And then I know a lot of people like to argue that, well, it's humans that are bad, not Hashem. It, it, it goes back to a point I, I, I debate about, even with myself, which is that, Ultimately, the bottom, bottom, bottom line is always going to show up. It's like taking shit and putting it in a sieve. What you're left with is always going to be uh, the the fundamentals of the of whatever it is the philosophy you're following. And if it leaves you with this attitude, like, "Well, what are you angry about?" Like, instead of like, "Wait, he's angry. What What are you angry about?" There's a difference. I could tell you're angry. I could tell you're still angry. But so you could tell you're still angry. So address the anger. And, and you know, if he's Taka Putz, so, so show him that he's a Putz. So he can at least uh, change his ways. If he's not a Putz, so then learn from it and let him learn from it. We could both have an open communication and go to the next level. But this whole concept of, like, here's your label and here's his label. And this guy is complaining about GED and he's not doing anything about it. Instead of looking as to why people do and don't do things... You're, you're just um, spitting things out. I don't blame you. I don't blame anybody that does it. But I'm saying look at where it's coming from. This is what I love about Yehuda. Because he's sitting in a circle full of Lubavitchers. And they're saying things to him. Hey, you're a kaifer. You're, you're a beautiful guy. And one guy likes him. One guy loves him. One guy shows both. One guy doesn't know how to show. But Yehuda is just... Yehuda has nothing to lose. And when you have nothing to lose, you could say it how it is. I'm telling you, say it how it is. Say what you mean. Don't say, ah, you're still angry, you're still angry. Say say what you really want to say. And then it can open a dialogue. It doesn't matter. If you say, if you say, fuck you, you're an asshole. So okay, you're gonna you're gonna get a strange response. But if you do it respectfully and you say, listen, I don't agree with point X, Y, and Z because of this and this reason, and I was there when you were there, etc. That I like. That That is productive. It will get us somewhere. So anyway, I'm going on way too long, too many clips here. I don't want to drive you guys crazy. But um, it was just interesting for me because it also brought me to, to my own uh, perspective, my own um, better perspective of Crown Heights and introspection. And it's going to continue. I'm not going to keep posting these videos, but I'm going to keep learning from my experience there and, and everywhere else um, from the different um, interactions I've had. Uh, but that's... That's made me appreciate my choices in life even more. Made me realize even more that how much I know, I know that what I'm doing is right. The the way I'm I'm going in my life is right because, because I'm I'm not just saying ah oh, what what are these two dogs doing here? What is a terrorist dog? He's a hunt. What be afraid? Don't be afraid. like it's not it's not it it's it's um. Critical thinking is a is a healthy thing. So. So that's where when you, you're armed with knowledge and you have critical thinking, you're able to decipher that 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 when, when your whole town in Germany is killing Jews, it's not a good thing. You're able to do that. So anyway, I wish everybody a wonderful Shabbos and Bleib Gesund.